I'll be talking for now. <laughs> <laughs> Is the light on the, the camera or the mic? Yeah. Sorry, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. So what we were saying is we're in Kensal <laughs> Green Cemetery in the All Souls section. There's another section not far away and it's the Catholic section. Um, it's one of the magnificent seven cemeteries in London. We've been to Highgate. There's a special place here that we're going to show you. Not all of it because I'm doing a video on it myself. It's actually the crematorium here is where Freddie Mercury from Queen was cremated. So this is the area where Freddie Mercury was cremated from Queen. So, um, as we were saying, this is one of the magnificent seven cemeteries here in London. We've already done a couple of vlogs in here and then we decided we're just going to go live. The place is huge. We have some fantastic porcelain photos on these graves, some amazing mausoleums and some amazing memorial statues. We have an area um, in the middle here that is dedicated to a, a young Italian um, man. We don't really know a whole lot about it, but it it's, is uh, out of this world. His family, I think, were very wealthy. And they well, they had a to have been. For him. I think his ashes are, his, his body is there, but it's a massive, massive yeah. monument. I've never seen anything like it. But we're going to flip you around. Hi, Nana D. Hi, Toms. Uh, hi, my Grammys. Who else have we got here? Uh, hi, Paul. Hi, Mo. Linda Ball. David. Tom's daughter. We said Tom's. Linda, Linda Sue. Sue. Hazel, hello. Is that Jill? Uh, John. Uh, Aqua. My Grammys. Susan Dawson. I think I've got everybody, have I? Uh, yeah, so sorry about the start of that. I'll be getting in trouble now for that when we... For people re-watching to say there's no sound there's no sound but we have it now i have a this is the bluetooth uh, mic i use and it stays on the whole time but sometimes it um you have to reconnect it and that's was the problem today we have just seen a fox and i don't know whether you can hear but we have uh, this to me is kind of uh, very very strange these are parrots or parakeets is what I was told. I've only ever seen a parakeet in a cage. They're wild parrots. But these are, are in the nature. They're flying over heads. It is crazy. They're a real, um, kind of like a lime green. I probably sound completely crazy now, but, but that's all new to me. I did not realize we had them here in London. There's loads of them and they are very, very noisy. So we will flip you around and we're going to give you a look at the crematorium and Grey Visitations has already uh, explained the story there and you'll have to watch his video uh, that will be coming up on that. So I'm just going to flip these around now. We'll have a look at that and then we're going to have a look at some beautiful photos. So I hope the coverage stays good. Is Aisha there? Eh? Some fantastic. We were talking to Aisha on the... No, Aisha. 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 Her name is Aisha. We were talking to Aisha we on the phone to today. Aisha today on this morning on the phone. We hope to meet up tomorrow. So we're hopefully meeting Aisha tomorrow for a coffee and a chat. And if we're doing a cemetery walk, she can come along with us. Exactly. Right. We're going to parakeets. Yes, Tom's parakeets. So there you go, guys. That there is the crematorium here. And we have been informed that Freddie Mercury uh, was cremated in there. His ashes, we think, were held for a while here, and maybe some are still here. Now, she tells me, the woman on the gate, that his ashes were sent back to Zanzibar. To and I family. would kind of believe that, that Zanzibar is possibly where his ashes are, or at least most of them. But I would imagine that he probably kept some here. Um, I'm trying to see if we can find any parakeet stories before we start. But they're all up in the trees up here. Uh, they're quite noisy, but they are really, really cool to see flying around. Oh, look, there's one, gone. <laughs> they're fast little fellas, huh? Oh yeah, so we'll start. And you'll have to excuse us, we have very, very low flying jets that go the whole time. So between the, <laughs> you can see <laughs> the parakeets flying around. But we'll start here. Now, I'm not great for pronouncing uh, these surnames. Milan is the name. He was born in Croatia in 1941, and he died here in London in 2008. 
Now we have loads and loads of beautiful uh, photos to show you. There's another one here, but I'm going to have to go in far to show you. But these are the, um, they're like laser. Isn't that laser cut? Look at this. Tamara and Leonid, is it? Leonid? Bernikov. 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 Isn't that, that a beautiful be Russian, photo? A... And Tamara. And what I've also noticed around the area is these beautiful roses just blooming everywhere. What? Well, oh, we have, I don't know whether I'm going to walk in that way. We have some, we're going to try, I've already done a video here and i went off on my own little random walk as i always do and ended up really bad with hay fever but i also kind of felt a little bit i don't know it's the first time i've ever felt that alone and a bit scared in a cemetery i went way off on my own and i shouldn't probably do that i don't know this area but i also think i might have felt this way because the lady did tell us of um, an awful occurrence that happened here where a poor gentleman was actually murdered. So, and that's not that long ago. So that kind of put the, the fear of God in me, as we say. So we we'll go up along this way, guys. So as I said, this is London. We have a wedding photo here, Eliza. Eliza, Yelena, Dockage. Yelena, is it? Oh, it's kind of damaged now at this stage. Look at that. I see. Let me just have a look at the, the comments. Karen is here. Mary Ann, hello. I think this section is... Um, Whoops. People from maybe Russia and... Czech Republic. I'm just not sure yeah, really. Yeah. I don't want to make a mistake and say different. We have three photos on this one. Noda. 1983, age 66. We have loads of photos here. I think we've kind of gone off the, the wrong track. We're going to try and get back to where there were some fantastic, fantastic photos this is Mikey 2011 I want to find that one where we had seen earlier on of the beautiful lady there was a, one, a lady that reminded me of Marilyn Monroe look at these guys Veronica she died in 1970 Aren't they beautiful? Now she was only very, very young. She was 41 when she passed. And her daughters are here as well. Absolutely stunning lady. More of one here. Wow. Wow, look at this. Now I can't even begin to, to read that, but some fantastic photos. The, oh. I'm not sure of those, the writing inscriptions, but I think those letters, when they're upside down, it looks Russian. Uh, it actually looks, oh, thank you, Mo, my spirit sister. $20 there from Mo, thank you so, so much. And again, we have, do you know, guys, is it Russian or Ukrainian, this, this writing I've seen? Draskovich. Yeah, that's, or Marinko is it Draskovich. Polish? I don't want to say that it is. Ukrainian, Russian. Kind yeah. Of, what's that one there? Look at this one. This woman, wow. Rodina. 
Oh, thank you, Denise. Ten dollars. Thank you so, so much. Look at this lady. Rodina. That is beautiful. Now, some of the photos there. Wow, look at this one. Are slightly cracked. And so again, I'm not going to be able to read this. This man looks like he's in a uniform. And is buried in the Czech military section at Brookwood Cemetery, Surrey. Wow. Tom's, thank you so, so much. Five dollars. Thank you. Wow. Very handsome man there. Definitely a uniform. I'm just kind of watching where I walk here. So. See the stripes on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. Once again, we have another plane flying over. Uh, 1977, this gentleman passed away. Hi, Jason, how are you? Hi, Sally. Oh, London has been, um, like we've always, you know, we've always said that Highgate was, I suppose, top of the bucket list, really, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, and um, I think we go this way, don't we, to get those other photos, yeah. It's just gorgeous. Though. And uh, it's full of. Having done Highgate, lovely money, and we've come here today. I have gone way off the beaten track. Grey Visitations was on another uh, place altogether. I hope we don't lose coverage now because we're going under trees for a second. Um, this place blew my mind today because it is such a mixture of some amazing art. Wow, look at this one. I'm sorry guys, this is 1974 and this lady passed. I'm just not going to even attempt to There's speak their name. And heard in this cemetery as well. Yeah. I've come across a lot of Irish graves. There's one over here now as well. Paddy Hogan's, the Hogan's. It. So it's a big community of Irish people here in, in, in London as well. Hogan is one here. You can see the shamrocks on that, it's lovely. Paddy and Margaret Hogan. Hi, Kathy Cousins. Hi, Penny. This is a beautiful one, actually. But I'm going, I really want to find that lady. I think she's... That beautiful lady. She was so there. stunning. And uh, look at these. Giuseppe, is it? Giuseppe Villa? Giuseppe. Giuseppe, yeah. excuse me. And uh, his beautiful wife. She passed away in 2000 and he passed away in 1968. We have another one here. Look at this. Oh, these are amazing. This is uh, Nicholas Andres van Beelen. Beelen, maybe. He served in the Dutch Merchant Navy as chief boatsman with full honours and his wife is there as well. That is something else, guys. Now we're slowly making our way up to this area here. It's right in the middle of um, the cemetery. You won't believe this monument when you see this. But you this won't. is for one person, and it's a young boy that died. Yeah, this is just. And uh, it's an Italian family that built it for him. Look at this. Very these, wealthy mate. Italian family. Margaret Fitzgerald, she passed away in 1976. And Edward there, uh, look at that. The shamrock. I was, you know, before I seen the shamrock, I was going to say, he looks like an Irish daddy. Oh, that is so cool. This one, unfortunately, look at that. It has kind of faded away. Uh, Terence P. Fitzgerald, England, Sergeant HHC. 8th Infantry, um, can you read that? Uh, I can't read it. 8th Infantry. What's that say? Um, Vietnam. It, I, do you know something, I was afraid to say it. Vietnam guys. July 1939 to 1967, he died in 1960. He was in Vietnam, 8th Infantry. Wow, and unfortunately, the porcelain just hasn't, uh, you know, it's just almost lost the whole picture there 
here's another beautiful photo and I like this one because it's almost like it's framed this one is beautiful now I just cannot find this lady I don't know what way we is it yeah oh I hope I find her guys because she is not that most you know all the women here are beautiful but this woman just caught my eye because she reminded me of um Marilyn Monroe maybe probably like Marilyn Monroe yeah, yeah. look at this guys now these are nothing to what I have been able to video for you all today these are fantastic but the ones I videoed today are much much bigger we have loads and loads of mausoleums um. Look at now, this. Now guys, wait to see this. Now there is cars around, so. Look at the size of this monument. A little bit respectful here, because we don't want to disturb anybody. This is all for one person, I believe. This is far from what we know. I don't for know. One Someone person. said it's Italian, but there, it looks Chinese, right? There is China, Chinese writing in here. Look, Look at, at this. 2014. I'm just not going to get it all in like. I mean, this place is. We're just going to take a walk in and just keep my voice down. So we have this. Or is it Japanese? I'm not sure. This here. Then. To our superhero and our inspiration, it will be a long life without you. 2014 to Medi. Wow, and there he is. Look at that. His tie on, and then just here. This is obviously a foundation in this chap's name, Medi Oliver Foundation. Every child deserves a fair tackle disease. Don't pass by help. So we will have to look that up and see exactly what that uh, refers to. Um, for Medi here, but it's obviously a foundation, Medi Oliver. I'm just keeping my voice down because there's people quite near, but that is just amazing. Wow, I mean, I can't tell you how beautiful it is in here, the smell in here of all these lilies and roses, even to the point of the back this of those angels. Person. This is all for one person. Um, It's just absolutely stunning. Tom's, Tom, Oh, hi, hi, Tom. Tom is here. How are you, Tom? Thank you for that so, so much. My mother's spark, Alfred. Hi, MMS. My mother's spark. How are you? Now, try and remember where that lady was. Did we go off? I think she could be down the street. So how cool is that, that all that monument is dedicated to one little boy? It's just amazing. was 11 amazing. years old, it looks like, on this plaque. Yeah. Would I all see that area. Get? it all in maybe if i stand here look at that guys now there must be very very wealthy people to erect a monument that size i mean it's so sad it's sad but to see a young person especially but just so beautiful. amazing and it, it's like a little garden for medi in there it's just beautiful absolutely stunning um I'm just trying to think, is this, this is all like a marble. It's like either marble or granite. It could be granite actually either, yeah. Now I can't remember where that lady was, can you? Down there. Was it? So we walked down, we have a few people here. She looks like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, so just bear with us guys, there's a few people around here so don't make too much noise. Janice. Ten dollars, thank you so so much. Much appreciated guys. I mean this has all helped us get to where we are today. 
and that's the other entrance to it. Just trying to now settle the gimbal for you, right? We're just going to walk down slowly. We did how many steps? We did 24,000 steps the other day and yesterday we did 22,000 steps so our poor feet are wore out now what's the other game that's buried here the man she called the famous man famous man oh i found him the duke of a singer yeah oh danny larue danny larue Does danny larue um i think he would be more english they might not know that anybody here remember danny larue um he's done a little bit of um drag queen and he was kind of on the stage a lot um my throat is getting dry now excuse me <clears throat> i don't think that lady was down here oh i hope you find her I'm trying to think we covered so much area that um this way we were talking to a gentleman up here when we were trying to find the Crem I remember that for each one. Oh yeah, I'm going to have... Oh, that's her. That's it. That's her. We'll just wait for the car to pass. There's a car coming, so I don't want to interfere there. Just bear with us a second, guys. We have actually a war memorial as well. We'll just let that car pass first. So this is just um, a small section dedicated We have the maple leaf and all of these. Tom, are you still in here? These are Canadian. Tom is our expert when it comes to all things like this. Canadian military. Um, Australian. I can see Australian. Australian pioneers. Uh, so one side, thank you, Linda Ball. Thank you so, so much. So one side is Canadian, just here, and the other side seems to be... Australian. Australian. Right, is that car gone? Uh, with chance going back. I really want to show you this because her memorial... Oh, the car is still there. Um, the memorial is amazing. The car is right outside it, so we can't actually move for a second. But we'll just walk up along here until they, they leave. Um, a lot of the, this cemetery is like this, so it's quite... Um, overgrown and then the section I was in actually today was even worse it was up to my knee and of course me being me um, I had to take my usual little walk and uh, kind of got a little bit lost Mary hello Mary you're very, very welcome, my Grammys. Denise, I hope I... That is Denise. Denise, Tom's daughter. Regina, is Nana D going? Sorry, Nana D. Maureen McCarthy, hello. My mother, Sparks. Mo is here. Scott, hi, Scott. Oh, there's some beautiful uh, cemeteries. Mo, there really, really is. Right, I want to bring you down here. The car is there, but I'm not sure what's going on, really. So kind of just sitting there. I just want to show you this statue up here, actually, first. Just in case it's um, family in the car. I don't want to be interfering. But look at this. Now this angel has completely lost her head and it to me it doesn't look like looks it doesn't actually look like it was um do you know true age it looks to me like it was vandalized because you can see it is almost like it's been sliced you know that is a uh, so sad isn't it now the lady did tell us as well that um there was vandals in here and 
I suppose over time they have tried to uh, fix things up and uh, make it, you know, try to restore it back to the way it once was, that it did become um, very overgrown. And there is still parts that you can see are still very overgrown. We have some more beautiful photos just along here. This is Alvin Victor Morris. He passed in 2009. Watching from Florida. Hello, how are you? I didn't quite get your name there, so apologies. We have some, oh, look at these. This is like, um, oh, I wonder these, wait till I have a look. These are all different surnames, always in a torch, George Walter, 1958. Now we have train going by, excuse me, guys. Um, we have all these different names. We have the wreath with poppies. Uh, let me see. We have the two doves on top, which is beautiful. We have loads of names. So I just wonder, is this a little section for ashes? And it could well be, I suppose. I mean, we have loads of just little tiny headstones. This is probably um cremated remains loads along here absolutely gorgeous up there i can't really get up there because uh it's just too dangerous it's very overgrown and on a hill are those people down at the grave now they are they must be belonging to them, so we'll have to leave them be. We might be able to get back to them. Just bear with us one second, guys, sorry. Yeah, it's a beautiful grave. A beautiful lady, actually. They're just cleaning off the headstone there. Right, we're going to bring it down this way. Now. Right, if I don't get to bring you to that today, I'll definitely take a photo of it. Look at this. Loving memory of Frederick Kent. 1905. And we can hear the parakeets again. There are so many of them around here. Oh, grave visitations is now chatting to the two men there. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. John Edward Taylor, born February 1813, died October 1905. Isn't that gorgeous? Directed by his sorrowing wife, Martha Elizabeth, who died May the 10th, 1912. That is stunning. Oh, we've loads of cars now coming down along. Let's see what this one is. We've two little angels. One is playing like the pan pipes and the other has a scroll. Uh, Tigran Sarkis, I believe that says. And I really do apologize, you know, if I'm getting the names wrong which I'm sure I am, because the pronunciation for some of them is really quite hard. So, as I said, this place is so, so big. We have a section down here, a section down here, and then straight across, uh, there's even more. <laughs> were they cleaning it? I was just talking to the people. I said to them you were chatting them off. And, uh his grandmother's grave there. Oh. And there's Irish connections there again. Oh, wow. His family's from County Clare, but he was born in London, so he has doesn't know much about them. Oh, so he's just taking but, care uh, of them. The grave is a beautiful picture of his grandmother when she was younger. She looks like Marilyn Monroe. She does. And uh, there's a bench there made of marble. 
Yeah. The pictures of fruit, bananas oh, and like stuff. Oh, like a market store. So she was it? a greengrocer. Yeah. Oh, she was a greengrocer. She used to sell fruit and stuff. And the name is Collins which is Irish. Yeah, of course. So, so uh, who's Collins, though, which is your channel? Collins? There's a Collins there. Oh, I don't know. Surname. I'm sorry now. I'm just... Uh, my brain, guys, is not working. Somebody always mentions Collins. They were always looking for the name Collins. There was, actually. Anybody here? Maureen, huh? One of the Maureens. Granny B, how are you? This, Granny B, we're in London. We flew across. Hello, Tony. Tony is here. Tony, my flower. Uh, who else have we got? Linda. Mandy. You can Ooze. read that bit better. Mandy's here. Uh, Nadaline. Uh, no. What? I found out some information, like grave visitations always finds out. Something. He does. The big monument that's up there. Hold on, one second. Wow, my dear husband and devoted father, John Alfred West. Now, that man is surely in a, an army uniform as well. That is brilliant. Yeah, Tony, it is. It's a, a banging cemetery for sure. It really, really is. It's just amazing, isn't it? So the big monument that you saw, we might go back up and show it for the people that haven't seen it. The big monument in the middle of the cemetery. Yeah. With the the little boy, the statue of the little boy holding the football. Yeah. He was Arabian. Oh, he was Arabian. Okay. And his family built this monument, and he's interred inside the monument. Is he? And he loved oh. football. He played football, or he loved, you know, oh. just like a child playing football. But he died very young, so they made this monument for him. Oh wow! So they're from Arab Saudi Arabia or Arabian or. Oh, guys, her beloved daughter, Donna May, uh, 1962. She was two years old. Wow. Isn't that a beautiful photo of a beautiful little girl? Just two. Right, let's see, I see another. Oh, my coat is going to, to fall off me. Um, Terence, this is Terence, uh, he was 17 when he passed, December 1958, that's Terence there. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of where <laughs> my adventure started and <laughs> I abruptly ended because I was just, Sonia is she? Hi, yeah. Sonia. Thank you for all the history and stories and wonderful walks. Oh, you're most welcome, Sonia. Um, look, this is where I started the video today. So I have this one coming up and I walked. We'll just walk this way, I think. Just to give you an idea of uh, the video that I will be uploading. You can see we have mausoleums. Um, huge memorials, more mausoleums, and of course, as I said, me being me, ended up walking places I probably shouldn't have been, really, in fairness, and feeling just a little bit, uh, I suppose, alone. I think I'll give the gimbal to grave visitations, is that alright? Just hold it at the bottom so she doesn't go mad. My arm is not the same. <laughs> now, I do this in detail on my live. Hold on, don't go too far. I'm just going to get a drink of water. Ooh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're very warm down oh. there today. I'm just getting it. Can you show something? Show that one. I show this now in my video. It is the... The mausoleum of... Duke of Cam Cambridge. The Duke of Cambridge. His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge. That's a pretty cool one. But just look, guys. We walked all 
Well, I did, because uh, Grave Visitations went off to do his own video on another section. So don't show him too much, because this is going to be all in my video. But uh, I think what we should do is go down the section I didn't go down, because... Uh, I wonder why I can't hear anything. Hello, oh, it's Cathy Myers. Cathy, am I still lighting here? Yeah. My Bluetooth is still on. Did you show them? Yeah, showed all them. This section up here, our area, building up here, we're not sure what it was. Or no, I think it's it went underground. It was like, um, what do you call them, a catacomb or something maybe? I don't know. I'll have to find out the information, but I, I vlogged all that as well. Uh, can Cathy hear us now? Can you hear now, Cathy? We'll go up this way, because I didn't go this way. There is actually a statue. You can show them the statue on this side. I showed the other statue. So if you can see this one, your arm is so longer than mine. the start of the video, she said. The start of the video, there was no sound, Cathy. I forgot to turn on my Bluetooth Now this is mic. all thin stuff here. But we might be able to see through it. Wow. Wow. A loving memory of their daughter, it says. But we can't get in there. Can't get in there. Can you put it up over it? You want to see it that way? There, I'm not sure if you can see. You're hitting the mic up there, yeah. Gimbal. Hard. Right, let's walk up along this way. Excuse me. I just drank some water and it's just repeating on hey, me now. Egg. Hello, Ronnie Egg. All Hello. of this, look at this. We're loving the UK. Let's have a look at this photo. Loving memory of a dear devoted husband and father, Mr. S. A. Henry, 1978. God saw your footsteps fading and clasped, clasped you in his loving arms and closed your weary eyes and whispered sleep. Oh, that's beautiful. And we have these huge tombs, look at these. William Byrne, architect, it says, 1870. Is when William passed away. William Byrne, architect, 1870. 1870, for William Byrne. We walk down this way. What's the coverage like and the sound like, guys? Is the coverage okay, guys, and the sound and stuff? Look at these. Give us a thumbs up if it is. Thumbs up. Tracy from Donegal. Hi, Tracy. Hello, Tracy. Hello from. Kensal Green, London. Look at this. Wow. Now that would have been stunning. But you can see the weather has really eaten away at the stone. Look at that airplane. Oh my God. <laughs> I get uh, scared. I don't know whether that's picking it up even. Those are huge. The, the airport must be quite near to where we are now. I also do a channel, Tracy. I don't know if you're subscribed to find Grave Visitation. I don't know, maybe someone could put the link in for me. In my own channel, I do send it as well, but too. Nine. Linda or Cathy or some of the mods there, if they can do that. Yeah, somebody can put I think Nana D had please. to leave. Uh, look at these urns. These are amazing. Now I think we will walk up this way because I've done down here. So we're going to walk up to the left. Uh, hey Patrick and hi Raoul. I won't go down there because I'm afraid we'll lose uh, coverage. We've mausoleums, guys. Every corner you turn in this place, it is full of mausoleums. Where are they? Mausoleums. Any more? Oh yeah, they're all just scattered around everywhere you turn. That's completely covered in ivy. That's my link there. Thanks, Linda Ball, uh, Tracy. The link is in the chat there. I'll give him a shot of that building there. No, we'll give you a shot. Oh wow, look at this one. This is like a crown. And this and one. Says here. Yeah, but that's pointing up to the one where Freddie Mercury's ashes were. So yeah. I don't actually know what this was. But this one is really interesting. Look at this. It has a crown on it. This one has a crown, yeah. Oh, we'll have to go down. Don't fall. Oh, I can you read it? No. 
crown on this one here, guys. You can see it. Thanks, Tracy. Um, I don't see an inscription. Unless around this side. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope you can still hear me because I've walked away. <laughs> I come back down. Wow. So he's a merchant. He was a merchant in Calcutta. You can see the the crown there, which represents, I suppose, the crown, the royal. The royal crown. crown. So we're going to go this back up this way. Um, you'll have to keep an eye out for all our videos that are going to come up from London. I'm absolutely wrecked walking. Here's another beautiful yesterday. one. And oh, whoops. William Pitt. Lieutenant William Pitt. Wow. Lieutenant William Pitt. Draffen. The Royal, Royal Navy. Navy. It was born in 1851 and died in 1882. Wow, look at the anchor and all. The anchor and that is stunning. Right, let's go on up this way. You won't hear them, or they won't hear you because I've walked away. It's oh, made, it's made of glass or something, is it? Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see him? Let me have a peep. No. Did you peep in? Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet you could at one stage kind of look in. That is cool. Oh, I have the mic, so when I walk away from the, the gimbal, I can't uh, be heard. Abigail Wolf, $20. Thank you so, so much, Abigail. Appreciate that. Uh, just to say again, guys, Oh, wow, I see something else. Um, um, those super chats go straight back into our channels. It's what got us here. Madeline wants to know, are we going to any more UK cemeteries? Well, we've done Highgate. Guys, oh my God, this is going to blow your mind. This Look is this. amazing. Oh my goodness. Is this a soldier's helmet and stuff? Yeah, Harriet. Harriet Christian. Christian. Hold on, come near me, hide the mic. Harriet, Harriet Christian Calloway who was born in 1820, died 1895. Wow. And just look what's on top of the grave, the monument. Look at that. It's a helmet and a sword. Wow. Hi, Brenda. That is amazing. I've never seen anything like that. He was 71 when he passed away. What's this, the Bengal, is it? The Bengal army. Wow. Lindy, you'll have to look up he this was man. K K KCB of the Bengal army. Wow. That is so cool, that is, isn't it? Amazing monuments here. Another mausoleum. A lot of these mausoleums are bricked They're up. bricked up. But I did find a few today that were, the roofs seem to be what are caving in, which is really, really sad um, and unfortunate for those. Wow, look at those. You can just get an idea of how large this area is. Um, it just keeps you know, going on and on and on. I thought Highgate was Highgate, large. Highgate is over 30 acres altogether wow. between the west and the east sections. The Robert Royal Smirk, Esquire of the Royal Academy of Arts in London, born at Wickton in the county of Cumberland, died on the 5th of January in the 19th 
93rd year of his age, 1845. Wow. And there's a bust of Robert here, but seems to be faded away. That is so cool, isn't it? Right, we have some more amazing urns. Linda Ball, this is um, Kensal Green, Kensal Green Cemetery. It's one of the seven magnificent cemeteries in London, and this is one of them here today. And of course, you have Highgate, you have Abney Park. Brompton. Brompton. We just couldn't, we don't have the time, guys. I mean, by the time you travel, some of these are an hour away from where we are. Last night we didn't get home till nearly, was it after 12? We got home late last night. And then we were up early this morning. We well, really, when you're here, you have to kind of take, take it every in. minute yeah. you have. And, and you know. just to let you know, because if I say it, we'll do it. Tomorrow we are taking the day off, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we keep saying that it's not happening because we keep finding these amazing things. Family grave of B.B. Sapwell. Dorcas K., their infant daughter who died in December 1867, aged oh. four months old. That is sad. Now we have a lot of work going along here. It looks like the, they're trying to protect the the wall around the, the cemetery. What time actually is it? Because we don't want to be locked in. I think it's... Um, We're surely okay. 10 past 5, so I think this place closes at 6 p.m. Is it? I thought it was 5. She told me 6. Okay, phew! <laughs> so we don't want to end up locked in the cemetery. No. Oh, I'm sure they must come and check. I hope. Oh, wow. Under the trees, though. Look. Oh, these are just, you see, these are the ones I like. The little hidden ones. The family tomb of Robert Kirby, 1839. That looks like an elephant, guys, in that look. Wow, it is. So maybe he was in India as well, or something like that. The Bengal area. Yeah. You're going away from the mic again. <laughs> There's just holes there on the... Oh yeah, so he must be inside there rather than underground, just like a vent. Oh, guys, I'd love to stay on for ages and bring you for um, a I walk. I on another day. Yeah. But she won't stay. I can't, I have to get back to work and family and... Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Underneath the trees. The woman mourning. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can see what we're trying to do is vlog these areas. So that's why going live is you know a great help in the sense that we can do this we don't have to edit and we can just put it up and you can see it with us i mean it's just oh wow these are just i love these ones that are covered in the ivy i know we can't read them look at this one down here we thought ireland had beautiful cemeteries but and they do they do have but this not to the, like these monuments these monuments and these cemeteries in the uk are look at this Super, really are. The weather is fantastic. The people are very friendly. As oh, well. she's two children. She's holding two children. Well, it's hard to read that. I see she has a small little baby there in one arm. And the younger child then below. I hope they can hear you. I hope you can hear me, guys. That is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that one way over there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Whoops. I don't want to end up in there. No, and I don't e either. Another mausoleum here. Another one here now. What's this one? 
Hold on, I'll come back to you now. In memory of John Gilcrease, merchant, formerly of Sydney, New South Wales, born at Falkirk in 1803 and died in London in 1866, erected by his widow and children. Wow. So he was a merchant in New South Wales. Oh. What is that? Well, it's like it was on a hinge. Yeah. It's like it used to open with a, like a hinge. That, I'd say this is a vault. Another mausoleum here. A lot of mausoleums in here. This one here has... What is this? What's going on here? Are they fixing it maybe? They must be fixing up this mausoleum here. You can see all the timber around wow. it. Wow. Remember, the lady did tell us that, that not that off long ago, besides the murder. We have a squirrel. Oh, squirrel, guys. <laughs> um, now, I've seen a fox in Highgate yesterday, and he was sitting on one of the graves just staring back at me. And strangely enough, here today, we saw another fox, so... I want to have a look in this. See what is going on here. Oh, I don't know what that is. But the lady did tell us of an awful murder that took place here not long ago. But also that uh, people broke into a mausoleum and scattered the bones around to steal the lead from the coffins so they could sell it on. How horrible. In memory of Charles Hawley, Esquire, to the depart who departed his life. Oh, it's all in that Roman numerals. We have a baby squirrel. Oh my God, look at him. He's the same. Ah, the size of him. Now, I know in, in pa America, I think they say it's like uh, tree vermin. I think L Linda Sue told me. But all oh, with the uh, symbol. With the mason symbol. Oh, it's another squirrel. He just leaped from one tree to another. Oh my God. See, this is kind of the area that I went off on my own. And I was hearing all these squirrels and there were only squirrels. So you switched from a cat to a fox <laughs> and Krista. Yes, and squirrels. But uh, yeah, I kind of got a little bit scared because I was down in a section oh, wow. like this. See, we might lose coverage now if we start going in under trees. Hopefully we have coverage here, guys. Risk Atala. I can't pronounce that. So. Risk Atala. Engraved here in the Last Supper. Look at that. Oh, look. Oh, look. Wow. Look. See, that's why it's kind of dangerous. Well, to be kind of coming into areas. All these old vaults here, look at this. Look at oh. that. A hole in there, guys. Hold it there for one second. Oh no, I can't put any kind of a light to it. I don't know whether you'd see anything down there. But there so is a sign. A I've just light. spotted a sign, potentially unsafe. We couldn't bring the flashlight, unfortunately, on the plane. No. Just with re restrictions and carrying batteries, it has to be a certain weight, I think. Any reason Three rats. Three rats, yeah. David Edward Morris Esquire, who departed this life after a short illness, 1842, age 68. That is a fine monument as well. David Edward Morris, Esquire, who departed this life after a short illness. Oh, look at it. <gasps> look, we've a hole. Oh. There's a hole here, guys. And you know, when we see a hole, what happens? <laughs> we probably won't be able to see it on. We won't be able to see no, it there. Unless you use your phone. Well, I'm afraid there's a lot of webs here. Spiders. Where's your torch? I'll have a peep. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. No. We're just trying to get the light on my phone because I don't have a torch to see what's Probably in won't. No, the torch is really just about useless, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you need the torch? Now? Yeah. You won't see anything. No. Yeah. Unfortunately. Now, if we had the torch, we would. Easily. So that's the grave of the guy that died of a sh short illness. Short illness. So, on my video, On the video that I did, right, I came to this crossroads and I went that way. But look down here, I didn't go down that way because I was a chicken. Thanks, my Grammy sending prayers for you. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> did you go this way? No, I got scared. Now, I was supposed to video some <laughs> of this cemetery, but it looks like I won't get time to, but I did video enough. Oh, know, wow, look at the mausoleum in there. See, see, the problem is, guys, you Can can't you access, no. And we, I have noticed. Hi, Anna. From oh, Durban, this South is Africa. amazing. Sorry, guys, we're kind of talking over each other as we see things. Wow. Look at these mausoleums. <laughs> super, super. Oh, we have Sphinx. Right, guys. Wow. There's a mausoleum down here with Sphinx. Have to look at that. George Roberts, Captain George Robertson. They won't hear you without the mic. <laughs> Captain George Robertson, Eichmann. Wow. Right, who wants to see the Sphinx? You want to see the Sphinx, mausoleum? Thumbs up if you do. Thumbs up. Who wants to see the Sphinx? How many have we got here? Mausoleum. Oh, we've 77, brilliant. Are you ready, guys? This is our first time seeing it as well. So this is a real live walk where we have not been down this way because Suzanne, Serenity Sue, is a chicken and I got scared because there were squirrels making noise. Look at the lady. Oh, oh wow. We'll show you this lady first. All thumbs up. Erected to the memory of Martha Ann Slater, who departed this life in 1844, aged 49 years old. And there's a Thomas Slater as well, 1866. And look at the iron beside it, it has like a, a, bird. a bird. Right, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at the mausoleum with the Sphinx. Wow. Look at this. The two angels. And there's that glass ball again. That there's that glass orb. Yeah. Look at the... It's like a beehive it thing, like isn't it? like a beehive up the top, yeah. Andrew Ducrow. Uh, erected by genius for the reception of its own remains are deposited those of Andrew. The Royal Amphitheatre Dublin. Wow. Many years. What's that say? Let's see. Of the Royal Amphitheatre London, whose death deprived the arts and science of an eminent professor and liberal patron, his family of an affectionate husband and father, and the world of an upright man he was born in london um and his afflicted wife as well and then it's his youngest son of the above who died of wounds received whilst uh gallantly leading his men in the attack of oh i can't okay. read that you need to read this as well look the second column down, who died of wounds received whilst gallantly leading, leading his, his men, men in, in the, the attack, attack of Rancariri, Ran is it? New Zealand in 1867. He was mentioned in dispatches, dispatches as um, being. Oh, if not first. The first, certainly, certainly one, one of the first to enter the something. Oh, 
It's very hard to read. It's very hard to read. But that is fan that hat is amazing, isn't it? Look and the hat. gloves. Look at the gloves. You can wow. see the gloves. That is amazing. Look at the pair of gloves and the hat. From his uniform, it's meant to look like. And the pillar. And then the sphinx, of course. Well, we've a horse down. Oh, look at this place just keeps on giving. Over there, we have a horse. He's lost his head and a leg. And he left a lovely flower in the sphinx. Look at the size of it. It goes right up to the arm with horses, arm with horses' wow. heads. There's a sphinx each side. <laughs> horses and a woman there and stuff. Skulls. Yeah, it's wow. Depicting some kind of a scene. That's what it looks like. Right, we're going to have to speed up because there's so much. I want to kind of get to the end here where there's more mausoleums. The horse, look at the horse. The horse. Oh, you may go. <laughs> there's a horse in here. Oh, wow. There's the other side of the mausoleum. Look at that, the door. The door and all. Look at that, the pillars in it. Oh, wow, look at this. Of course, the writing is completely gone. This is supposed to be a horse, but the head is missing. And the legs and stuff. Look at that. Right. We have to try and be quick. Because we don't want to be locked in. And I want to show you for sure. Because we're not going to be back here. It's We just can't. We could do a video on that. Locked in the cemetery. Oh, oh no thanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just, this is just unreal. In 1849 and died in 1871. For many years, HBM, whatever that signifies, I'm not sure. Maureen. I just want to sort the mic problem because you have the game I'm tired. You can wear the the mic. Just bear with us a second. Now, right, let's. They're stunning va um, vaults, aren't they? Beautiful. Monuments. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. What is this? An effigy of someone. Effigy here, guys. Look at this. Oh, look at the designs all around the sides of it. What? Oh, wow. William Mulready, artist. Royal Knight of the Legion of Honour, born at Ennis in Ireland. Wow. County Clare, that is, Ennis. In 1786, and he died in London in 1863. Wow. Look at that. He was born in Ennis County, Clare, in Ireland, this guy. And here he is interred in Kensal Green in London.
That's for sure, Karen. This. It's super. Look at those pillars and the door. Amazing. Here we have another one. Wow. Sacred to the memory of Major General, the Honourable Sir William Casement. Now I've heard of that name, Casement. Roger Casement is the name I've heard of before. Roger Casement. Was he involved in the the rebellion in Wexford? Supreme Casement. Council of India. Look at that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now, guys? Because I have the mic on my jumper here, so I'm hoping you can hear me. So if you can hear me, let me know in the chat. Now we might be able to see in here, will we? This is the mausoleum here. Wow. Look at inside there. If we can see with those cages, it won't be easy. Check the time, says Denise, so you don't get locked in. Well, I'll just check the time. Half five. So we should be, we'll give it another 10 or 15 minutes. We'll walk back up along. So we're back on the, the main track. So isn't that some cemetery? And the artwork that's in it. Amazing. Yeah. Isn't it? I'm taking over this channel. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? Should I take over Serenity Sue's channel? <laughs> she can have mine. I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm so tired today. My legs ache. My legs are open. I could never I replace Serenity that. Sue. Serenity Sue is brilliant. Look at this. Look at the teeth on this as well. Some in details, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. And this is not, we haven't even covered half of it. Like. Not even half of it. We do have a beautiful statue up here now. And we might finish up then once we yeah. get to this one. There's another aeroplane. Constantly going over. The weather is gorgeous today. The sun is really warm. When we arrived here first, it was really heavy rain. And we were just saying, oh no, don't tell me it's going to be like this for a few days. But it changed very quick, so. We were blessed. We were blessed. Oh wow, look at this one. Massive statue this here. This is the one I could see from over the other side. Wow. I love my little Sue, don't I? Do you? My little <laughs> short legs. <laughs> Look at this. It's like Queen Victoria. Toher is the name on this. Wow. Oh, Look at it's that. an artist. Is, it an e is that an easel and paintbrushes, it is? There's paintbrushes on this. Look. Must be an artist. Are they? 
It is paintbrush, isn't it? Yeah. Because that's me either. Might see it better this way. Look at that, guys. The woman is on the front there, and you have the angels overhead. Kathy Myers, thank you for the $20 super chat. And I think that's what we need to do when we're finished here is because maybe get something to a drink of a mineral or something like that because we're parched with the thirst. To be honest, we're walking around in the heat all day doing videos and stuff, but that's what we do. We like to get out there and get these amazing videos in. My so you can, her elbow's still plastered, guys, look. <laughs> she was in the wars. I felt like it. I think we leave it there, will we? Will I say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, you can say, Kathy Myers. Oh, Kathy Myers, thank you so, so much. Really, really appreciate it. Let's go this way. Oh, now you're so tall, come on. <laughs> That's better. Right, guys, we're going to leave it there. I am absolute. I'll get up my tippy toes. <laughs> and anybody got a, a cardboard box you can stand box. on or something? Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. God bless. Thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Grave Visitations, Serenity Sue. Uh, it's been a wonderful day here in yeah. Kensal Green Cemetery in London <laughs> and we hope we can fit in something and Aisha if you're here I don't know if you're here we'll see you tomorrow um, for a catch up and a chat and uh, you might even come on a cemetery walk with us maybe who knows <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Right, I talk too much <laughs> thanks so much for watching take care God bye bless. guys thanks very much talk to you soon bye bye I'm still too sure.